Hello everybody, Zach here, and this is going to be just a short video for today. There's a couple of things I want to share. First thing was this video that I watched last night that Daniel Scranton posted on his YouTube channel called How to Master the Art of Manifestation, where he channeled the Ninth Dimensional Arcturian Council. And it just, I wanted to share it because it was so relevant to what I've been going through recently. For the past couple of weeks, I've been in this kind of new morning routine where I'll, the first thing I'll do upon waking is do this certain technique called the BCR technique, which is something that Brad Johnson teaches. BCR stands for breath work, calm, and then reinforcement. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm taking three deep breaths, first thing upon waking, just breathing. And I'm already in a calm state just because I've already just woken up. Usually, usually I'm in a calm state when I wake up. <laughs> and then the third part, reinforcement, reinforcing with love. So then I'll find love within myself. For example, I had a bit of a hard time. I woke up this morning. I wasn't feeling entirely full of love. I was quite a very kind of low baseline for some reason. I don't know why exactly. Maybe I've been processing a lot in my astral travels during dream state but yeah I, <laughs> I managed to find it I managed to cultivate that love within uh, it was <laughs> just through just through kind of feeling it and reaffirming like that quote that I posted a couple of days ago on my Facebook like you are love I love you, me. Just saying that a few times. Boof. And then I've got some love energy to work with. And I feel it's starting to feel good. And a smile comes on my face naturally. I'm not trying to force it. It just comes about then from that. And then I come into this part of placing my hands like this. And essentially then creating a ball of energy. A chi ball. A ball of love. Within the space. And breathing in breathing in those rays of light from my environment and on the exhale bringing that those rays of light through my arms and into this ball it's all well and good and then on the second inhalation this is a bit of an adaptation to the actual BCR technique itself something that I've like found quite good results in on the second time bringing in those rays of love from further afield like from my extended local area, like going out perhaps half a mile, bringing that in. And as I bring it in and then exhale it out, I'm expanding this chi ball a little bit. Inhaling again from a slightly further afield again. And exhaling, bringing it out even more. Really good. And then at this point, one more time, and on the final exhale, condensing that ball into this really bright, sparkly, white, golden, powerful little ball of light, of love, and just bringing it into the chest, into the heart space, and then just sitting with that for a few more breaths in and out. Just expanding it in and out every time through the breath and it's been working really well for me it will boost me up and give me that little that little um, that little tap on the shoulder for the day and that's what the Arcturian Council shared in this video last night that I watched about how it's just a really good practice to be able to first thing upon waking up, instead of being all in your mind, because the mind is narrow, it only knows so much, it it's, has a very limited perspective. Instead of being in here straight away, bringing our awareness and our attention and our focus to the heart space, to the more, much more aware aspect of ourselves. And doing a love practice such as that, a love cultivation exercise such as that. 
really sets the tone for the day in a very good way in terms of being able to manifest. Because it really does, when, when your vibration is higher, you're going to be more in line with what you really feel like manifesting. Because when your vibration is lower, you may not even realize or feel the things that you want to be doing. You don't even feel inspired to do them. You don't feel good within yourself enough to be able to pursue those things. So just bringing in a bit of love and raising, in your, raising your vibration in that way, first thing in the morning. Baseline, up. <laughs> For the rest of the day and yeah so the second thing that i wanted to share here speaking on still manifestation uh, i've been invited to be a moderator for a free online event that brad johnson is hosting this evening in about roughly eight hours from now and this event is called adronus the universal ladder so brad will be channeling adronus on zoom as well as youtube live stream and the event is completely free if you'd like to join i'll tell you about that in a minute first of all I'll explain the event so adronus will be taking us into a greater understanding regarding dimensions densities frequencies vibration and manifestation within other realities. Adronus will teach us how to connect to these other realms of consciousness, as well as communicate with the higher levels of consciousness that exist there. And as a moderator, I'll essentially just be uh, taking questions from the Zoom audience and then relaying those to Adronus in the channel, in the channeled state via Brad Johnson. So yeah, if you would like as well, there is also a Q&A that will happen at the end of this event. So people that are on attending on the Zoom webinar will be able to come on and ask questions and uh, have their questions answered. So yeah, if you would like to, if you'd like to attend this event and to learn a little bit more about manifestation in other realities, and working with those different realities in that way then feel free to check out the link in the description as well to the zoom webinar and yeah this event will be going on in approximately eight hours from now which will be 7 p.m universal central time 3 p.m pacific time or 12 p.m oh no 7, sorry, 7 p.m. Universal Central Time, 3 p.m. Eastern Time, 12 p.m. Pacific Time. So, yeah, thank you very much for this. I just wanted to share that, something that I'm excited about. My first ever kind of moderating an event like this, a channeling event. Really excited about it, and um, yeah, sounds good. So, hope to see you there, and maybe you can have your question answered as well. So... Thank you for watching. I'm going to keep this short. Just a little update about a couple of things I'm inspired and excited about. So yeah, thank you. Much love to you all and have a good day. And thank you. Bye.